Once again, let's give a warm Coca-Cola welcome to our honorable guests. Honorable Mayor Isco Moreno and Vice Mayor Connie Lapina. May I ask everyone please to settle down? Our program is about to start.
Mahal namin Maynila at ating mga kababayan. So before we start, let me just acknowledge some of our distinguished guests. Um, Mayor Esco Moreno and Vice Mayor Hani Lapuna. We also are graced by Postmaster General Norman Fulhensho. Our uh, Philippine Ports Authority Manager, Ani Lee Manese. Uh, from CBTI, the, um, Patrick Ronas and uh, Miss Melissa Matienzo. We also have Mr. Christian Gonzalez from ICTSI. Ideal. And Romeo Salvador from North Point. Of course, our uh, colleagues, fellow associates of the Coca-Cola Beverages Philippines Incorporated. Welcome to Mega Manila Hub. Welcome to Northport. What a good way to start our Monday morning here in our very own uh, first strategic convergence point of our full goods and materials right back here in Manila. So to give us an opening message, let us all welcome CCBPI CEO Garrett. Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness. Good morning, everyone. Okay, that's the Coca-Cola Tiger Spirit. So firstly, uh, let me start with a very, very warm welcome. Mayor Isco for joining us again. Can we give Mayor a round of applause, please? Vice Mayor Honey, great to see you again. Uh, Postmaster General Norman, uh, Annie Lee of the Philippine Ports Authority, Patrick Ronas, President and CEO of CBPI not CCBPI, that would be me, CBPI, and Romeo Salvador, General Manager of Northport, and all the team from ICTI. So um, to all the hardworking men and women of the City of Manila, the Ports Authority, ICTSI, CCB, CCPI, Northport, and CCBPI, a very, very, very warm welcome to our inauguration of the Mega Manila CCBPI Hub. Just a little bit about why we're here and what this hub is going to do for us. This is the first mega hub the Philippines has ever had for Coca-Cola in 109 years. And, and on an annual basis, we ship around 6,000 containers all across the country. So we source from Santa Rosa and Lubang up north, and we send them down to Visayas, and we also take stuff in and we take it into the, the Bay of Manila. And therefore, we decided that this will be a wonderful time and a wonderful opportunity to launch this mega Manila hub for CCBPI. Um, a lot of people to thank. I'd like to thank all the CCBPI team. I'd like to thank the team of CCBPI. CCBI, this is very confusing. The team of Northport and the city of Manila. About six months ago, we came back to Manila with our small DC distribution center in Paco. And Mayor was sitting beside me, and he said, I've never worked for Coke, but I can tell you this is too small for you. I said, yes, you're probably right, this is too small. And he also said that you'll be back to Manila soon. But he also made some promises and some commitments that working with the city of Manila would be easy, that we would be able to break through challenges and barriers and become a business-friendly city. And I'm here to say, after only a few months back in Manila, we decided to come and put our mega Manila hub back here in Northport today because of you, Mayor, and the fabulous team that you have working for you. So a big thank you and congratulations. Uh, he also said that Coke would succeed in Manila. He also said that Coke would succeed in Manila. And we've had a really challenging 18 months, as everybody knows. Since March 16 last year, COVID came. And we're still in the throes of COVID. And within 109 years of Coca-Cola's history in the Philippines, we've never experienced anything like this. We know how to deal with typhoons, earthquakes, many natural disasters, but COVID was new. We made a commitment last year that we would do four things protect each other, support our customers, support our communities, and protect our business. 
18 months on, not only have we not let anybody go, we've hired more people. We've increased people's salaries, we've paid bonuses, and we continue to invest. This year, we will spend over 6 billion pesos in the Philippines. <laughs> Annually, we pay 25 billion pesos in taxes, and our payroll bill every year is 10 billion pesos. And we will continue to invest, because we believe in the Philippines. We believe in the people, we believe in the spirit, and we believe that our brand goes well with those times that Filipinos rejoice and savor. And as we get through this crisis, as we get through the vaccines, and a big thank you to ICTS for all the support on getting Moderna, all CCBPI associates will be vaccinated via the Red Cross with Moderna. So thank you for all the help. We will start that process in the coming weeks and months, vaccinate all our people, and then we'll look to support their families. CCBPI always believes that we're only as strong as the communities we operate in, and we're really proud to continue our investment, continue our job creation in the city of Manila, and we look forward to many, many more investments ahead. Marami, marami, salamat. Thank you. Thank you very much, guys.